Okay, David, a 2-1 win against Hanley Town at home. It wasn't the prettiest, matches, prettiest of matches today, but you picked up all three points. Yeah, ugly wins. Um, we, need, we, need the, we need to learn how to win games. Ugly. I thought today was um, not the best performance. I thought Hanley were very good. And they'll be disappointed to, to not take something from the game. And uh, We had a couple of goal-line clearances, and, and you know they'll be, uh, they'll be kind of going down the M6, scratching their heads at how they haven't at least got a draw. But I thought we started well. First minute we had momentum. I don't think for the rest of the game we did. I don't think we ever really controlled it. I don't think we ever really had momentum. I don't think we kept the ball as well as we can. Um, but we still had three or four decent chances. And Mason had a very good chance. Bannett had a very good chance. So, yeah, ugly win. Ugly win, but you know, I've had plenty of uh, a pretty defeat, so I'll take that. Like you said, a flying start today. Goal inside, 59 seconds today with um, Jack Bannister getting on to the end of a... Of a nice three ball from from Joe Edwards, got to be pleased with the. It was a great little passing move, and it was it was all simple. It was all kind of one or two touch passing, just in a little tight area. Drew plays in, opened up the space for Bannis to run into, and a, a good way to pass and good finish. And and we do so much of that sort of four v four, five v five stuff in training. It's good to see it come off. It was then frustrating having started like that. We didn't do more of that. I thought there were times we were a little bit careless in possession. We were flicking at things and trying trying to force the ball through areas that didn't exist when we could have been a bit more patient move the ball quicker and created more. So, um, yeah, great goal. And I thought that Mike Sells going, I think maybe had the opposite effect and, uh, and, and maybe relaxed us a little bit too much. And, and then we, we get the penalty. Thoughts on the penalty? It was a clear penalty. Um, we've had them given against us. I don't think you can have too many complaints. Ball's dropping out of the air. Freddie got there first and, and the defender just caught caught trying to clear it. It was an honest attempt to play the ball, but it, it was a foul. Um, oh. And then Mason took it away really well. We, speak, we spoke a lot about Declan Evans last year being the main penalty taker, but Mason seems like he's got ice-cold nerves when it comes to the spot kicks. It, it was a real calmness. If you look at the last two games, he scored two penalties. Um, and there was a lot of histrionics and messing about before the, before the penalty on Tuesday night. And it was good to see Mason re-spot it and take his time. Today, there was a lot going on and, and Andy Keel went and got the ball and just diffused the situation and waited until everything was ready to, for Mason to take it. So there's, um, there's a, kind of a lot goes on really that you don't necessarily see when you just see the penalty but the way the way Mason's managing it the way Andy managed it today um, kind of all else that you when you are taking the penalty you can be calm and you can uh, you can make sure you score in those pressure moments do you feel the game switched around a little bit on the we potentially could have scored another with the uh, Mason Mason Bannister squared it to Mason who has a chance it's blocked on the line and then Hanley sort of found a bit more and got back into the game Feel yeah, like that was a turning point. That was a huge chance. I don't think so. Um, I, I think the turning point was after about 59 seconds. <laughs> I honestly thought we, we got to 2-0 with a penalty and, and Alex turns to me and said, we're 2-0 up and I don't know how. And I think that was a fair assessment. Hanley are, are devastated on the break. They're so quick. Um, they were brave today. They played They played with a two-up. Um, at times, we were almost a full two-four. The wingers pressed us back. The they, they moved the two forwards. We were a handful physically. Uh, the movement was good. Um, I thought they created a lot of problems. Tom was man of the match, and there's a reason for that. They created chances, and we had to, we had to rely on Tom sweeping and, and making some good stops. So, no, I thought they were good. I thought they, I thought they controlled the game probably slightly better than us. I thought the game was largely played in transition. I thought they were, they were better at it on the whole, but then we had the big moments. So, Banny square to Mason, Banny when he went through in the second half, and, and sort of caught in two minds whether to shoot or cross. So, there were definitely chances, Sean's as well, where I thought Banny delayed the ball through, and... Um, probably was just offside if he had played a, a fraction of a second earlier. Sean takes it on the keeper and scores. So, no, I thought um, I thought Hanley were good. I thought we showed a lot. Of, I thought we showed great attitude actually. I thought the number of times we blocked balls in the box, we got our bodies on the line. We we won first the second ball. We got back round the tongue when we had to and blocked things on the line. I thought you know not the best performance, but attitude exemplary. Do you think the substitution for bringing Sean Ataluku on today changed the game a little bit for us? It sort of we were under a lot of pressure at that time, and he, he he came on not a defensive player, but relieved the pressure going we, forward. There, there were two things that we were going through our minds, and we were already thinking about that before before Joe went down. One was Mason would get a little bit more of the ball. He's, he's obviously more seasoned, more experienced than Joe, and um, probably be a, a, a little bit braver sometimes in possession, and, and his and his range of passing would help. And he definitely did. You know, I think he, he put Banny through a couple of times, um, but then Sean's an outlet. He's got electric pace, and he's a real outlet. You know, he he had one way picked up in our half and. Got, you know, shots and did a great job well manning him and running out for a goal kick in the end but um, but you know he hit the ball up an hour half and, and, and the next five seconds later it's, it's in their box and he, he's got that and it's a different threat than one, the one we have with Mason and Banny so it's a, it's a great option for us
And we move on. We um, travel to Witness next weekend. Thoughts on that one? It's always a funny place to go. Um, they're going to be difficult. Difficult side to break down. Difficult side to be. You're going to be spirited. You're going to be hard working. Um, it's not one of my favourite grounds in this league. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a big, lovely stadium, but it lacks atmosphere and a bit of soul. And um, you know, with them renting, I think you, although the 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 witness the witness people the, the board with the members everybody really welcoming the, the stadium crew aren't particularly so it's not it's never really a game on the forward team and uh, for lots of reasons but it's a 3G we sh- should suit us should suit the style of football we play it's a big pitch as well and gives an opportunity to, to kind of be a bit more expansive um, key that we we turn up and do things right I thought today actually was superb we've got to take that into next week now and the rest of the season uh, we we can't just you know, we can't just turn up against sides in the in the bottom six and expect to win because there there were no four sides in this league. I said that before, you know, after the game on Tuesday. I think that now takes us to eight games against sides in the bottom six, and I think we're at thirteen points, and that that's still isn't good enough. So next week's another another one of those. We've got to be at it. We've got to be at it. We've got to put teams under pressure. We've got to work hard. Um, but I do I do back us. I do think we've got enough quality if we do all those things right to uh, to get another three points. And we we um a, a really healthy crowd today, four hundred and fifty plus today. Word for the crowd, especially with Tuesday night coming up against Trafford, a week on Tuesday against Trafford. How much did you need them today, and will you need them again on Tuesday night? I, I talk about the fans a lot on, on these interviews and in program notes, and, and it's, it's the cliche twelfth man, but it does make such a difference. You see the way players celebrate goals and where they run to, where they're looking for the fans. You see the uh, the mutual appreciation at the end of the game, applauding each other, and the, the fans know. I spoke to a few in the bar. Um, it's not the greatest performance we've ever put in. We played a couple, one or two really nice passages of football, the first goal in particular. But they appreciate the, the hard work and the effort that went into it. Um, There's such a big big part of the club. You know, we talk about the club and the community and the fans and everybody's together and pulling in the same direction. And you talk to the players and the players are loving being here. Um, you know, we've, we're already starting to have conversations around players that we might want to keep for next season. And when you have those conversations, players do say, I'm enjoying it here. And, and, and a big reason for that is the fans. Um, they get behind them no matter what and, and that's such a big thing for me so uh, it's great to see so many coming through hopefully we get a good crowd at, against Trafford because that, that will always be a good game against the Danny Caldicott team um, and we give them plenty to shout about between now and the end of the season and we don't really look at the league table very much and we don't talk about it as much because we're, we're focused on the next game but you have to be pleased with the progress you've made you you go into February sat fourth in the league That that's a real vindication of what you've done and you, your coaching team have done at the club in the, the last two years the, the big thing is, is it's in our hands. Um, we, we're doing enough. I, I don't think we've had a, a great run. I think we've had a couple of decent runs of, of results. I don't think we've had any great runs. But it's in our hands. If we, if we pick up, a, you know, if we win two thirds of our games, I think that gets us there or thereabouts. So we've, we've, we've got the ability to do that. So yeah, I, I do look at the league table on a Saturday. Uh, yes, I'm focused on the next game, but I, I, I am thinking big picture as well. Um, to be here, to be where we are, I think shows the, the quality we've had in the squad. Um, we've not used many players, we, we didn't have a full bench again today and it's a very conscious decision to do that. I don't want to bring loads of players in just for the sake that I want to bring players in who can, who can improve us, who can be who can provide competition, who we know have got the quality to come in. Um, and you've seen that with Joe, you know, Joe steps in at, at super performances, but then you look at the, probably they've got 13 or 14 players who play 25 plus games this season and, and that's kind of reaping its rewards for us. So at times it looks a bit odd when you haven't got a full bench, but I think that the lads understanding each other, knowing what we're trying to do as a club, buying into the ethos and the culture, um, understanding our principles while we want to play. I think that's that's broke off to where we are. So, um, yeah, sometimes I might only have 14 on the match day squad, but well, I think people trust us that we'll, we'll get it right. Thanks, David, and well done for today. Cheers, Nathan.